All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. This one's heavy. Booyah. Oh yeah. $230 at average price. What's going on guys? Dan Cal here from Liquidation Pros. And in this video series, I'm going to be unboxing some Amazon liquidation uh, inventory that I received from five Amazon liquidation pallets. So what I have here is about a pallet and a half of inventory that I've brought down. I'm going to go through box by box and take a look at what we have. Um, the way it worked out as far as the numbers go is I paid a, just below $5,000 for all five pallets. So right around $1,000 a piece. It was actually $980 and that included freight shipping to the warehouse. Um, from there, we uh, received the inventory and I'm bringing it here to my uh, my home basement to process it and pull out what's good to be resold, what needs to go to the flea market and you know basically how I go through the whole process of selling everything and, and making profit on it. So the way it worked out, $980 per pallet on average, it's around $10,000 uh, retail value, somewhere as high as 14, uh, somewhere as low as like 9,200. So on average, 10 to 12,000 in retail value per pallet. And the way that works out is, if you break it down per box, it's about $80 I pay, I pay per box. And it's a potential, about 12 boxes on average per pallet. So you'd have to do the math. So pretty good potential. It could be $500 to $1,000 in each box. But once again, this is as is Amazon returns. We don't know if the item's new, broken. Sometimes people will swap out an item and send something different back as far as the return goes. So you have all kinds of different options as far as the condition goes. Uh, the ultimate goal is to unbox everything. And like I said, get it sold and actually make profit. Uh, the reason I do these videos for one, it's fun. And I know a lot of people enjoy seeing what you can get in these Amazon mystery boxes. So I do actually have a manifest, which is an entire list of everything I bought within the five pallets. But since everything came in in one truckload, it's not really organized well enough to figure out what's going to be in each box. So I have an idea of what's in each pallet, but I have the whole entire list tell me what's included. So the good thing is it makes it a little bit easier to find the items. So as we go, if I see an item that I think it might be pretty valuable, I will go ahead on eBay and see what the item is selling for, uh, eBay or Amazon, and just kind of get a, a price quote. And I also will give an idea of what I paid for the item. So I paid on average right around 10%. So a hundred dollar item, I paid $10 for. So that's the way it works out. I'm going to be opening a bunch of these. So if you like this type of content, make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I post the next one. In this video, we, we may get through two. We may only get through one. It just depends on how many items there are. I'm going to try to keep these between 10 to 15 minutes. I'll play a little bit of music and we'll just have fun going through and looking and seeing what kind of money we can make. So, uh, like, like I said, uh, thanks for watching and let's get started. Here we go. This is going to be the third one of these I've gone through. Um, I've already done three that I didn't film just to kind of get an idea of what I have. Uh, and I highlighted some of those, some of those items in previous, a previous video before I started this series. So this is the third box of Amazon returns from five liquidation pallets that I bought. So right off the bat, I've had a pink pair of these gloves. They were going for around 30. This looks like a nicer pair of black. I'm just gonna say 30 bucks. They don't appear to be used. Everlast 2200557 Power Lock Training Gloves. Easily 30 bucks on eBay. Here is a gun holster. This is the Underground Guardian Archangel by Versacary. And Probably at least, I'm gonna say at least 20. Some of these can be expensive. That's why I wanna look this one up because I wanna make sure that I'm getting the most value out of everything I have here. The retail is $57. At least that's what I was told the retail is. Uh, let's check eBay. Let's see if any have sold on eBay and how much they've sold for because that's what I normally go off of. So based on the UPC, there aren't any solds, but that doesn't mean there could be uh, none active. Let's try the model number for this one. Sorry guys, I do want to just check this one item because sometimes these can be pricey. I'm not seeing anything. So worst case scenario, $20 item, somebody will buy that. Uh, this is pretty much trash, a couple bucks, maybe a dollar or two down the flea market. It, I could even use it for my fish tank. Those who have been following me for a while know that I have cichlids. It's just a water nitrate, uh, water clarifier and nitrate remover. This is just a Chevy, it is Chevy branded. I wonder if that's 
Hmm. How does that work? Does it have to be authentic to use the Chevy logo? 4372. You know what I mean? Like, I guess, can you use that on a knockoff? Let's see, it says it's retail is 20 bucks. I could also be using Terapeak, that would probably help. For those that don't know, Terapeak will search eBay for a year. Well, I don't even know why I'm not doing that, to be honest with you. I kind of forgot about it. Terapeak products. So you just go to research, Terapeak product research. You put it in there. So this is selling for about 12 bucks. We'll say 10. So right now I'm at about uh, 30, 10 and 10, about 50 bucks so far. For those keeping track. This is a classic generator cover. So outdoor cover for your generator. I'd say 10 bucks. Oh, it's a really nice tool set. OEM tools, this brand OEM tools on Amazon is pretty expensive. Uh, locking lug master key set. So if you have lug nuts in the car, so a mechanic would need these to change your tires and stuff like that. Let's see what the retail on this is. Some of these are crazy. Uh, almost don't believe what some of these go for, but they're not very fast sellers. So you kind of got to wait on them, which I'm willing to do. Let's see. Cruiser accessories, not that. I'm looking for 4475. Oh, I see what I did. You guys see that? I typed it in there. Put it in the wrong spot. This is supposed to be here. Now I'm going to 4475. And it pops right up. OEM tools. It's a $140 set. Now let's check and see what they sell on eBay because I know I'm not going to get $140 for this. That's the retail. Um, still, $67 is the average selling price through therapy. So let's say $60. Bucks. Where were we at? We're at $50? $30, $40, 50 60 uh, plus another 60 now we're up to 120 on an 80 dollar box now obviously i have to look through this we can look real quick together uh, i'm curious to see because i'm sure you guys are probably interested like buying this type of stuff well, just because you look it up and see the value like well what's the condition obviously the packaging is messed up the case looks okay but the outer wrapping is not good so someone sent this back for a reason the question is did they just have a change of heart or did they get out of business or did they not need it or did they use it once got the tool they needed bam all there this one definitely has wear just a couple small scratches you probably can't even see the camera but that's that's all there so that's easy 60 bucks i like that so up to 120 right now. We're in the profit for sure. Uh, tire cover for Penn State. That might be worth 20. 3562. Some of these, if I have no idea, I like to just double check. This is calling it Fremont Die Cover. Okay, so this doesn't have the right label. I'll have to look this one up. I'm it's all covered up. I'm guessing. I'm guessing around 20 bucks. Sort of 140. Oh, I have, I've actually had one of these clips already. It's a uh, magazine clip from Palco Sports. I'm not sure um, if I'm gonna be able to sell these or not. They're uh, very particular about when it comes to firearms type stuff, which you can and can't sell. Um, this is a, I think we decided these were around 35 bucks. So I'm gonna put this with the other one. Maybe we sell a lot of two, make it easier. Just a filter here. So that's the 35. We are up to, what's it, 120 plus that, 140 plus that clip, it's 170. Uh, these are just filters, 180. Oh, I sold this before, Air Force. These are like goggles or something, glasses. I sold a pair of these. These are a lot of money. Hopefully this is not damaged because the box is like, I think the problem with this company is they use too cheap of a box and their product gets damaged. They're like goggles. They're like racing goggles. They are brand new. Never been used. Airfoil goggles. Pretty sure I sold a pair of these before for around 80 bucks, but let's see. This, this could be a different model. It's definitely a different model. The question is, um, is it more or less expensive? It says... 
was trying to call them Pacific Coast sunglasses, but that's not what these are. These are something else. So this might not be the right number. I'm gonna try it anyway, just to see. Yeah, these are airfoils. Oh, okay, so Pacific Coast does make them, my mistake. It just says airfoil 9305 goggles. Um, 20 consistently selling for 25 bucks. So these aren't the best, the best one, but I'll still take it. It's 25 bucks and they're brand new. So we're about $200 right now. We're definitely in the profit. We still have, oh geez, at least 10 items less. Oh, here we go. There's a nice OEM tool set. Check that out. Check that out. Now this, mm, I wonder if that's factory tape. I doubt it. It won't matter anyway. I don't mind opening it because I got to double check. And also the box is already beat up. So it doesn't really matter if you open. Oh, wow. Booyah. Brand new, still sealed. Look at that. Awesome. Now this would be a tool set you throw in like a mechanics drawer set. So it's already has all the placements marked. You wouldn't need a case for it because you'd have it in your tool chest. There's no point. Uh, let's see what this goes for. This is money. Brand new. We're looking at uh, 9839 on the number. Let's pull it up, guys. We'll look at it together. Once again, these aren't the fastest sellers, but some of these can be worth some money. We're, they're claiming the retail is 175. That would be great, but I'm guessing it's not gonna be that much. It is brand new though. Average selling price, $104. Booyah, so that's really nice. This would slide right in a, uh, probably a medium. The skinnier medium flat rate box, worst case scenario, a large flat, definitely fit a large flat rate box. And um, it's a hundred dollar item. So we're up to $300 on an $80 box and we still have a bunch of stuff. Uh, this is a pretty good brand for um, stereo equipment pile. This is a wireless Bluetooth portable speaker and 9212. Now, I hope that this is working out for you guys. I know it's kind of a little bit back and forth. I'm going to try to trim up where I can, um, but I don't have a ton of time to edit this stuff. Uh, it's also, I'm doing this at nighttime, so it's been a long day. You know, I've already worked a long day, but I don't want to just go through and just process all this stuff because then you guys will miss out on what, it, you know, what I'm getting. So it doesn't have, this is not on my list. At least it didn't show up. Eight, four, We'll search it manually. And before everyone goes and say, why don't you get a scanner? I actually have three scanners here. Um, th none of this stuff will work for scanner because this is this scan barcode is not accurate. It's not the UPC. The UPC is actually typed up right there. And then the, all the other barcodes are, are hidden. So they always, Amazon always blocks the barcode. So that's an Amazon label. This was a return. Um, it is electronic, so I would make sure to test this, but check that out. It's still wrapped up in the bag. The paperwork's there, the cables, they're all they're all banded up perfectly. So I'm guessing it was never used. It could be wrong, but I would have to test it. Um, going for around $42 on eBay. So that's a good a good find there. Really good item. I like to be like $30 or more to, to sell it online to make it worth shipping. So that's right where I need to be. Um, these are just some baseball compression shorts by TYR. Uh, these are probably 10 bucks. Probably not worth selling online. Ultrasonic pest repeller. These don't cost much. This is a generic one by Lentex. A couple bucks at the flea market. Maybe two or three bucks. Oh, what do we have here? This is mini quick first rubber clamps. So just a little clamp you can use for holding tools and stuff. Probably a dollar. Nothing much there. We still have a few big items, so I'm still hopeful we can we can get a really high value in this. Um, my best box so far was like over thirteen hundred dollars, but I didn't film that one. Like every item, I just filled, filmed um, the ending of going through three boxes. But the one item had a thousand dollar fishing reel in it, plus a couple other fishing reels and a bunch of other stuff. So. Um, I don't think we're going to beat that in this box, but we should be able to get over 500. I hope that, that would be awesome. Uh, this is some sort of never fear a spider or a bug again. I guess it's like a suction thing. You catch it and then you can look in the tube. This would actually be fun for the kids. Uh, the bug Zuka. 
never heard of it. It's kind of a novelty thing. Um, let me just curiosity see what they go for on Amazon or what they, at least what they told me the retail was. Trimax tools, $39, does that sound right? Seems kind of high to me. Let's check eBay real quick. I'm guessing it's probably 20 bucks because these novelty tools sometimes, if they get, go viral or get popular, $31 and a 124 sold. So yeah, this is actually worth selling online. So that's another 30 bucks to add to our thing. Here is a Flow FX by Flow Master. This is like some sort of uh, exhaust pipe. Now we're gonna have to figure out what vehicle this is for. It's for a 2.25 inch Flow Master FX muffler 8473. I'm hoping this is like 50 bucks. That's my initial guesstimate for what I could sell for. Regularly $46. So I was close, but it's gonna be a little less. Probably gonna be close to like 30 bucks. So we're gonna look here. 43. Now that's with free shipping though. This is pretty heavy. So let's look and see if it's in here. I know it's in here because this box is heavy, but let's look and see if it's damaged or not. It's a good sign. There's a still a sticker in there. I mean, it's still wrapped up beautifully. So it's there, $40 item, add 40 bucks to it. Make sure it's not dinged up. I really don't want to pull it out because it's, I don't think it's ever been taken out. But yeah, that's brand new. Sweet, 2.25 inch, I don't even know what you call it, a muffler, muffler case, welded muffler case is what they're calling it. I'm not very mechanically inclined, or just enough to get by, but that's a good item there. So we're gonna add 40 to it for that one. I got three more, no particular order. I don't know what this is. I was kinda hoping this was a box of big like uh, contractor bags so I could use some of those. This is Mud River cover. It's like a huge cover, I guess, for a truck or a Jeep or something. I have no idea. Dirty trucks, lonely wives, and happy dogs is what it says. Extra large black. So that's what we got there. And we're looking at um, 1866. Almost done, guys. We got, I think, two more after this. I just want to see what this item's worth in case you guys ever see this out and about. 1866. There's no way. I'm saying no way because they're telling me the retail is $200 for this. It just seems crazy. Oh, is that it? No, that's not the same thing. This has the wrong wrong number. I put the wrong number in. 6178, I was gonna say. But this item should be in my, hopefully should be in my lot somewhere. Yeah, that's not the same thing. Jump the gun, jump the gun. Okay, maybe $100, maybe 100. Question is, has anybody bought one? They told me it was 105. All right, somebody sold one for 86 bucks. Um, I mean, there are only one sold. How many are active? Not many, there's only two active. So 75 bucks probably, assuming it's good, I'll have to pull it out and check it real quick. But that could be a $75 item. That would be worth selling one. All right, I have a Simpson motorcycle helmet and then a mystery box here. Let's do the motorcycle helmet. Since I already told you guys what that was. Simpson, like new, model 50 DOT, helmet, large, medium. This thing looks like, it does, it has been open. It has been opened. You can tell because it has some extra tape on it. And here we go. Let's see what we got here. Wow, it's still in the bag. Come on, baby. Be worth some money. Oh, this is sweet. This is so sweet, brand new. You can already tell because all the parts inside are in a bag and it is looking mint condition. Um, the uh, the uh, visor needs to be snapped back on. Looks like it came on snap. That's not a big deal. But look at that helmet. It's like a matte black, but uh, oh man, it's. And then it also has um, the cushions, the visor, chin straps in there. I mean, this thing, it's never been worn. It smells brand new. So, you know what to do next? If I had to guess, it's probably over a $100 helmet. 
but what I could actually get for it, I would guess probably a hundred. Now I could be wrong. I've, I've only sold one helmet before. I sold a Simpson race suit and that was really expensive. Um, I have not sold any of these Simpson helmets yet though. So I'm going to get educated and figure out what they go for. This is model M50 DL3. I don't have a UPC for it. It says it's a $300 retail and I paid 30, no. Yep, I paid 30 bucks for it, obviously it's 10%. So what can we get for it? What do you guys think? It's brand new. Booyah, oh yeah. $230 at average price. 230, brand new helmet, love it. Paid 30 bucks for it. So after fees and all, easy $150 profit on that one. I only, I'm only into each of these boxes on average for $80 a piece. So, I mean, stuff like this is what makes or breaks them. And that is absolutely awesome. You know, well over $500 box, which is what I love to see. And we still have one more item. This is like, I mean, there's like nothing in this box. Obviously there's something, but it doesn't feel like anything is that light. Whatever it is, they use a way too big of a box. I don't know, it's just a plastic part. Probably a car part. Yeah, this is just a dash kit. These are like 10 bucks. They're normally 50 million different companies makes them. This one's Metro, it's for Acura RSX. So it's a $10 item, but it's very unique um, to that customer. So it pretty much would have to be sold online. You could try Facebook Marketplace, but like a flea market, the chances of somebody needing that are be slim. Um, plus the amount of space that takes up. But that was the last item, guys. Um, I think I did really well in this one. I'm gonna put the total. Um, we got the, that really nice toolkit, this helmet. There was another good item in here. Oh, we had two toolkits, that's why. And then the um, the bench seat cover, I'm thinking 75 bucks on that. So really good box, uh, tons of profit in this one. All right, guys, well, I think I did pretty good with that one. So uh, if you would, and you're more interested in checking out what's in these other boxes, make sure you hit the subscribe and that bell notification so you can be uh, notified when I put the next video out. But uh, I really do appreciate you guys watching and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.